I have an aversion to lies, coercion, and fraud. A prime example of all three arrived in my letterbox recently from an electricity company. It congratulated me on being one of the lucky people who had been chosen to receive a smart meter. It informed me that, and I quote, smart meters are a modern version of an analog meter and they go the extra step by helping you to keep track of how much electricity your household is actually using. Unlike an analog meter, a smart meter records your electricity consumption at half-hour intervals and sends the data to your retail power company each day, end of quote. It then went on to describe, in glowing terms, all the so-called benefits to myself and to the health of my family of having a smart meter under such headings as, quote, know your facts, unquote, and, quote, smart meters and your health, unquote. And all of this stuff was followed by a lot of dangerously ignorant waffle, including a very phony chart purporting to compare EMF emissions from smart meters um, uh, and the safety of them um, compared to EMF emissions from Wi-Fi, routers, cell phones, microwave ovens, and so forth. Quite frankly, I was horrified. There are, in truth, a thousand reasons why you do not want a smart meter in your home. People throughout the world who have been exposed to wireless smart meters experience an endless list of symptoms, from insomnia and nightmares to pressures in the head, anxiety, cardiac symptoms. Oh, it's almost endless. Nausea, flu-like symptoms, urinary issues, high blood pressure, hyperactivity, and brain damage in children, who, of course, are much more susceptible to damage than we adults are. In addition, peer-reviewed studies show that smart meters can result in DNA damage and sperm damage and destructive genetic and hormonal changes. I mean, it is hard to believe just how widespread the negative effects are. Weakening of the blood-brain barrier, for instance. Disturbance in the voltage-gated calcium channels, such as the ones in the heart. Degradation of immunity and even susceptibility to certain types of cancers. I believe that it's time for you to know the truth about smart meters and the horrendous hoax to the publish that continues to invade the lives of millions of people throughout the world. When you have a smart meter installed, corporations are able to analyze your home appliances and use the data completely without your consent or knowledge. They can then sell this information to other organizations to make use of this personal data for their own purposes. Smart meters make it possible for just about anyone to hack your home and invade your private life. They can spy on people living in a home by measuring electricity, gas, television, or water usage frequently and over time. And this is because security measures surrounding the digital transmission of smart meter data exposes you to misuse of the data that is collected. Now, as far as the smart grid, which has been created by millions of smart meters, is concerned, even former CIA Director James Woolsey has warned that on security grounds alone, The whole smart grid design is, and I quote, quote, really a stupid grid. A smart grid can be easily hacked and even completely shut down, making power unavailable to whole cities. Even Homeland Security in the U.S. warns that the electric grids are highly vulnerable wireless systems. Okay, thanks to a compilation of reports from Australia, Canada, and the United States in regard to smart meter fires, we know now that despite all the promotional nonsense about how safe smart meters are by the smart meter companies, um, these smart meters can continue to destroy houses and people's lives. The Toronto Star reported in 2015 
that 5,400 of the electricity conservation gauges have had to be removed due to the risk of the fires that they cause. After a protracted argument, back to me again, with the customer service team at my electricity provider, I made it clear that under no circumstances was anyone to put a smart meter into my home. I requested that they send me a formal letter confirming that they would not do this. After three weeks, during which no confirmation letter arrived, I got back to them once again and demanded it. What astounded me was simply that these people who were singing the praises of smart metering had no clue about what they were selling. They were like a group of parrots feeding back the party line, completely ignorant. Okay, here's the bottom line. If you already have a smart meter installed in your home, I suggest you ring your electricity supplier and demand that they remove it. If you do not have one, never agree to let them put one in. I also suggest that you watch a superb Canadian film on smart meters to find out the truth about these devices. This is how. Go online. Search for the film, quote, Take Back Your Power, unquote. It is thorough, fascinating, and accurate. You'll learn from it all you need to know. You can also check out the list of references I've provided below, as well as hundreds more to find out the truth about smart meters, which are of absolutely no value to people who have them. It's time to get savvy. Your health and your life could well depend on it. Thanks for listening.